So, last time we played Danganronpa, we found our second corpse. So yeah, it was a double kill again. Uh, so I'm really upset again because I was right on who I thought was gonna die. <laughs> It was kind of weird, because I was like, oh, if she's gonna die, then it's gonna be her that kills her, but no. It was the person that I thought was gonna die, and the killer. But either way, I'm still fully on the team that thinks that Kyo is the killer. Even though, like, well, I mean, there's some stuff that, that points to Kyo. Like, the usage of the sword from his lab and all that, but it's not quite enough damnable evidence quite yet. With investigations, but yeah, I think it's Kyo. I think, I think Kyo is the killer. But yeah, let's get started. And let me pull up the game real fast. And then let me get rid of the uh, one bit heart OST. Wait, there we go. Oh, is my window? My window looks weird. Let me adjust this a bit. Oh, it's because... Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> That's why it looks so weird. Alright, let's adjust this over here. And then we should be able to start. Yeah! Okay. So, let's begin the investigation. <laughs> uh, let me in, let me in, let me in. I wonder how close we are to a uh, class trial, because we just, we were almost done, I think, investigating, uh, the first death. Uh, but we're just now seeing who got killed, so there'll probably be a bit more investigation. I don't know if we'll get to a class trial today or not. Um, so, to make sense of all that, if both murders have different culprits, then our vote will determine Angie's killer. Oh, also, give me a moment uh, while I put in the at roll on Discord because my bot doesn't work properly. All right, there we go. If both murders have different culprits, then our vote will determine Angie's killer. Oh, but we don't even know if there's a different culprit, do we? So True, we should investigate Tenko's death as well, just in case. My Discord doesn't work, help! It will not stop me though, hello there! Oh, hello Goldie! Oh, sorry to hear about Discord. I'm happy to see you here! How have you been? Have you been playing the, the Mizuki event going on on the EN server? I thought of you immediately when the uh, event started. <laughs> Finally, things are heating up! I'm getting so excited! Curse it! Can you fucking psycho? Uh, let me let me lower the volume of this game for me. Uh, let me know uh, how the audio levels sound for you. I have, yes. How rude of you to call me out like that. <laughs> hey, listen. There's nothing wrong with trying to uh, get the cards and everything and rank for your Oshi. I, I kind of want to like... I want to try and T200 for Mizuki, but I'm not sure yet. I haven't committed to the idea yet. <laughs> Shuichi. Shuichi, this is bad. Uh -huh. hmm? So yeah, uh, we found our second corpse and it was Tenko. Just the person that I thought was going to get killed, but I thought she was going to get killed by Angie initially. So I... Uh, poor... Poor Himiko. She lost both of her girlfriends. <sighs> this is unquestionably bad. I can't believe Tenko was killed. I got a new Mizuki 4 star in Japan server, so I'm praying they'll come home on Ian because this is the one Mizuki card I don't have on JP. Oh! Oh, nice. Good luck. Good luck, Goldie. I'm gonna send you my my rabbit foot. My, my good luck of the bunny. <laughs> Watching the stream will give you good gotcha luck, <laughs> hopefully. Everyone's upset and confused, and I'm in no shape to help right now. So, this is where you need to step up. Oh my god, the bunny feet? Yes! Yes, the bunny feet! It's not no bunny pics, though. No, no feet pics. No feet pics. 
but you'll have the luck of the bunny feet because they exist. <laughs> Listen, Shuichi. The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so any key. God, he's such a bro. Oh my god. He probably watches like Gurren Lagann. Yeah. All right, then let's check the Monokuma file first. The victim is Tinkle Chabashira, the ultimate Aikido master. I was gonna put it on Wiki Feet. Elio would make money. What? Wiki Feet? Is that a thing? Is there like a database of people's feet? <laughs> the body was found in the middle empty room on the fourth floor. You didn't know? What? Hold on. Hold on. Wiki Feet? Excuse me? is a photo sharing foot fetish website dedicated to sharing photos of celebrities' feet? What? And the first result I saw was Emma Watson. Excuse me? What the hell? Yeah, I just went on the website and they were the feet of the day. <laughs> feet of the week? What? <laughs> What is this? What is this? Oh my god, they even have... Oh my god. They even have videos. Jody Bosey milf feet. What? This is cursed. This is cursed. This, this entire website needs to get holy watered. My goodness. I'm honestly not surprised considering the internet. Yeah, but I didn't think it would be like a wiki. What? <laughs> I thought it was common curse knowledge. <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe it is. I just didn't know about it. I'm so sorry though. No worries. That that'll be a fun conversational topic someday. I'll be like, yo, have you gotten your pic uploaded onto Wiki Feet? Yeah, yeah. You're you're really not a celebrity until you get your feet put up on Wiki Feet, because it's apparently the site for pictures of celebrities' feet. So I guess I'm not a celebrity because my feet aren't on there. That's a true mark of fame. The time of death is approximately 11 a.m. Oh yeah, I just saw, there's like a little hole underneath her. Like the, the board was moved or something. The only visible injury is a stab wound to the back of the neck. So it's just like what happened with Angie. Stab wound on her neck, the same as Angie's cause of death. Hmm. Doesn't look like a coincidence. Maybe it's Angie's curse. If there's a hole, there's a way, Elio, remember. <laughs> the hole's the goal. I'm sorry. G curse? Aww. God, not again. I'm so sorry. I'm in such a weird mood today. <laughs> yeah, the, literally the first eight minutes of the stream. Did you know Wiki Feet exist? If there's a hole, there's a way. Goldie. <laughs> I see you're channeling the Oma energy today. G -g curse? Oh my god! She's blushing! Oh my god, Kaito! He's so cute! What? Curse? Kaito, calm down! No way, there's a curse! I've been listening to a musical and it's so fucking sexual and I hate it. But also the songs are such bops? What kind of musical is that? Kaimaki content, Kaimaki content, get your fill everyone! If you ship Kaimaki, this is the CG for you! <laughs> Don't screw around! <laughs> You're the one who's screwing around. Do you want to die? Slam. A dull sound reverberated through the room. Huh? <laughs> oh my god, she punched him? Okay, Kaito, are you okay? 
my bed, Shuichi. I'm starting to feel bad, but for a different reason. Oh no. Did Maki Thanos snap you? I'm gonna get some fresh air, so I'll leave this to you and Maki roll. <laughs> Damn, Maki. Maki don't pull no punches. Kaito left the room still a little wobbly. Man got the wind knocked out of him. Oh, jeez. It's not about sex, but there's a lot of sexual stuff in it. It's called Be More Chill. I hate it, but I love it. It's a complicated relationship. Oh, wow. I've never heard of that musical. I'll have to look into it then, if the bops are good. God, getting the wind knocked out of you is like the worst feeling ever. I've had the wind knocked out of me and I never want that ever to happen ever again. Um, should we resume the investigation? Time is of the essence. True, we haven't time to mourn Tenko's death as our own lives are at risk. Th that's true, but Yinji and then Tenko... Listen to Michael in the bathroom and be done. You don't need anything else. All right, let me make a note of that then. I've been making a lot of notes today. Michael in the bathroom. Michael in fact bathroom. Yeah, that's totally what I meant to write down. Thank you, iPhone. <laughs> and to think earlier, I was suspicious of Tinko. Yeah, I bet you feel bad, huh, Sumugi? But don't worry. <laughs> I did the same thing to you in the first trial. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tinko. It's all Gonta's fault. Gonta failed to protect friends again. Hmm. Tinko's death cut us all off guard. Everyone's panicking. Yeah, so they're going after both the student count. Well, I guess they're both the student council, but like Tinkle kind of was seen as a traitor to the student council. So I don't know. <laughs> you know, I was about to say Sabuki feels as bad as you did. <laughs> it's karma. <laughs> I have to keep it together. I have to work harder. Because I'm a detective. Alright, investigation resume! It's too dark in here. We can't investigate, even if we wanted to. Gonta brings candles from other room to make this room bright, okay? Yeah. No, that won't be necessary. Oh yeah, Kibo got his laser eyesight. Ah. Yeah, that's not necessary at all. Huh? huh? Why? <laughs> Show him, Kibo! Show him your new power! Eh? New power. She attached light bulbs to his eyes? <laughs> he got that! <laughs> his eyes lit up! Kibo is such a fucking ex machina, I swear. I love him though. Same. He's so cute. <laughs> I, Miyu Iruma, the gorgeous girl genius, have installed a new function in Kibo. I wonder if he has a strobe option. <laughs> Kibo running a rave. God, can you imagine? He'd throw the best parties. Just leave it to me. I will become the guiding light that shines on you all. <laughs> oh my god, I was about to say that. I was about to say what Miyu said. <laughs> Shine on, shine on, shine on, you crazy fucking diamond. <laughs> shine bright like a diamond. Oh. Man, what a lame function. Should have made him like a transformer or something. Proof number 500 that Alma is a fucking weeb. But it's bright now, so we should hurry and investigate. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Imagine going to a party and the disco ball is just keep on spinning on the ceiling. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That'd be great. Kibo's flashlight function. Oh, okay. That's apparently very important. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's just standing there. God, I love him so much. <laughs> 
I said things that made Tinkle look suspicious, and now this. I'm sorry, Tinkle. Yamete. Cry later. Huh? Crying won't bring Tinkle back. If we don't investigate thoroughly, we'll die too. Mm. I need to find the truth and pin down the culprit for Tinko and all of us. You're right. Tinko would want us to figure it out so she'd have no regrets. That would be the best way to apologize. He's fucking hung up by his antenna and everyone tries to not get hit by his legs. <laughs> it's like the, the one Get Down video. Get down, you know the good you see me like that, but with people <laughs> doing like a strobe effect. Oh, hey, I don't remember there being a white cloth in here. Oh, oh, that was what we put over the cage, that's right. Do these floorboards seem a little unstable to you? You're tough to walk on. The floorboards aren't nailed down, they're just lying on top of cross pieces. That's what Gonta told me. That's probably the reason they're a little unstable. Mm hmm. Hmm. They've only been laid on top. That's why they're unstable. No. Well, the boards are fairly thick and sturdy. I can't imagine they come loose easily. But if someone wanted to remove a floorboard, they could easily do so, right? Mm. Yes, I suppose. Alright. Hey, Nicole, how are you doing, baby? Are you all right? You're not all right. L let me give you a hug. Oi! Himiko! Hey, Himiko! Be strong, Himiko! Hanta, if you shake Himiko that much, she's going to break. Devil. But she's not talking. It's like Himiko is not even here. Let Leave her alone, Ganta, please. Let her process things. She just lost both of her girlfriends. How the fuck do you think she's doing? Both of her GS just died. Yeah, give give her some space, okay? She's probably having a breakdown. My god. Nobody. She must have been really shocked over Tenko. Let's leave her be for now. Mm. Uh, okay. Himiko. Yeah, ple please give Himiko her space, please. Damn it, Elio, we can't keep wearing the same fucking hat. <laughs> We just have the same brain, I guess. <laughs> First Angie, then Tinkle. I'm so ashamed. Why am I? Why couldn't I protect my friends? I'm trying to reword his things to be a bit more naturally spoken. Leave it to me. I will become the guiding light that shines on you all. <laughs> He's so cute! <laughs> why... why did this... Kyo, I know the murder was pretty shocking. Of course, I'm shocked about that as well, but... Why did the seance fail? Okay, so that's the one thing that you're most concerned about, huh, Kore Kyo? Interesting! We performed all of the steps flawlessly. He seems more concerned by that than the murder. So oh, if we perform the caged child again and summon Tenko Spirit this time. Back the fuck off, Kore Kyo! He's such a shonen manga character. I mean, are you surprised this is the thing he cares about, Elliot? You're right. Honestly, <laughs> he probably killed both of them because he wanted to do a seance. <laughs> That's the whole reason he's killing people. Like, Oh, let me see if I can do a seance. Whoops, accidentally got her killed. Okay, let's do another seance. Whoops, got her accidentally killed too. Okay, can I do another seance, please? Baka baka Cut the crap. Just tell me what happened during the seance. Because Angie was in the very same position as Tanko too. So that makes me think maybe a seance happened with her as well. Both you and Shuichi were present, right? Did she get killed during the seance? So True. It may be best to move past what happened to know why the seance failed. Uh, so. Whatever. Just hurry up. God, I love this sprite of Maki. She looks so good. 
At that time, in order to begin the seance, we had Tenko, the spiritual medium, position herself as a turtle within the magic circle so her head touched the marker stone. Yo, we were just talking about like a, a turtle monokuma. Kamekuma during turtle head. <laughs> so funny to see that. <laughs> Then Shuichi and Kokichi placed the cage over Tenko. And after that, I placed the white cloth over the cage. Then all four of us placed the wooden statue of the dog god atop the cage. Afterwards, we stood in the four corners of the room. Kokichi and Shuichi blew out the candles. So. Finally, we all sang the cage child song. Seance should have been complete, but oh. uh, now that you mention it, I remember hearing a strange sound during the song. Yeah, a crashing song. A uh, crashing song. A crashing sound. Yeah, right here. Mm. It is a mystery to me as well. I thought someone may have tripped, perhaps. It was a pretty loud sound for something for someone tripping. Perhaps Kyo knows something. And then what happened? Uh, we called out to her, but no reply came. I had Shuichi and Kokichi relight the candles. And then we removed all the items from within the magic circle in the opposite order. First, all four of us removed the dog god statue. Next, I took off the white cloth, and then... Himiko ran over to the cage. At the moment she lifted it... Yeah. So someone opened up the little, like, plank under her and killed her. Then, it sounds like Tinko was definitely killed during the seance. I wonder, cause like... I'm guessing maybe someone was hiding under the plank? Where Tenko was at? Well, no. Would that be possible to move? No, 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 no. She'd be too heavy to move that out of the way, right? I don't know. I don't know. I still gotta process this a bit. Yeah. But would it not be difficult in such darkness? Besides, she was inside the cage, yes? <laughs> then when was she killed? <laughs> yes, that's a problem. And there is another problem. And that is why ever did the seance fail? I simply cannot figure it out. Shut the fuck up, Korekio. See, this is why I don't like you. We got like two dead people and he's like, oh my god, my my occult like summoning ritual didn't happen. Maybe it's because you were doing an occult summoning ritual that they died, Korekio. Priorities? <laughs> Maybe someone moved from the corner. Did someone else sneak in here? Obviously, since this seance was clearly a sham. <laughs> he does not look happy. <laughs> Maki never was one to pull her punches. It's like, what the fuck did you just say? Oh, Maki, you better look out. I think you might be next to perform a seance with? <laughs> this investigation is over and shut. And it's all thanks to me for giving Kibo his new function. Also, what, what the fuck, Mew? Investigation. You really just have to shoot horn whatever sexual reference you can make, even if it doesn't make sense. Now then, Kunt Fu's killer is obviously God. Mio, she just died. Can you not call someone that just died a cunt? God. Yeah! One of you stupid assholes who signed up to do this bullshit seance in the first place. No one here is being respectful to Tenko. Just ignore her for your own sanity. Mm -hmm. I feel so bad for Tenko though. Like, this is how they react when she dies. Yep. Lord. Uh, no, not necessarily. Huh? Huh? Seriously? This seance was clearly set up to lure her in and kill her. How could someone who wasn't in the room kill her? 
So you believe that Tenko was killed during the seance? There's no other possibility, shit for brains! God, you don't even know that! It is true that Tenko was alive before the seance began. This is the point of no return, Tenko. After this point, you mustn't speak. It's more of a shock that a second murder happened than sadness and shock that Tenko died. Yeah, it's really terrible. Cause like in, in the other games, it was like really sad to have like two bodies show up. And this is just like, oh my god, my seance didn't work. Oh my god, she's a cunt. Like, please. They don't even show respect to Himiko, who is clearly sh the most shaken up by this. Next time you open your mouth, it will be Andrew speaking through you. And I feel so bad for Tenko too, because people were suspecting her of killing Angie, and then she dies. Uh, oh my god. Y'all, I'm shaking you. Please, please have more empathy. These kids are not the most, let's just say they're not exactly empaths. Yeah, I can definitely tell they're not empaths. My god, please. Understood. I will not say a word until the seance is over. Tinko answered Kyo, so at that point, she was most certainly alive. But when the candles were relit, she had already been killed. That means she was killed in the dark. I'm positive. Oh, are people gonna start thinking it's Kibo because of his new skill? It can't. What time exactly was Tenko killed after the candles were blown out? This may be an important point in, of this case. Someone killed her in the dark, huh? Well, let's talk to Goldie. Man, what a lame function. You could have made him like a transformer or something. Okay, he's just he's just nerding out. Oh wait, what's that? Ta Tasuke te wait! That's save me written in blood on the wall right there. Or I guess written in red ink, because blood in this game is obviously Pepto Bismol. It's the wooden dog statue used in the seance. I believe it's called the Dog God. He's just being a weeb, ignore him. <laughs> During the seance, this wooden statue was on top of the cage. It took four of us to remove it. This wooden statue is pretty heavy. Kyo said it was about 175 pounds. That's about the weight of two girls. Huh? What do you know about girls? Have <laughs> you even touched a woman besides your mother? God, Maki, why are you attacking everyone? Dried blood is red, though. The blood in that one classroom in Dongan Rumble 1 was red. Oh, that's right. I remember, wasn't there like a, a thing on how that room was like a beta room or something that they kind of reworked to be like that one room in Duncan Ripple 1 or something? I, I remember there was like something about that room that I read up on. I'm not sure if I'm right though. Also, God, Maki, Maki out here attacking us for no reason. <laughs> oh, what? Jordan. I'm kidding. Anyway, wh why are you attacking everyone today, Maki? I know you're an assassin, but I didn't know you were an assassin of words, too. If this heavy thing was on top of the cage, then Tenko wouldn't have been able to get out easily. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. That didn't sound like you were kidding earlier. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that room was brutal. And now that I know what happened in that room from watching the anime, it makes it even worse. Cause geez, that that scene from the anime. Ugh. Candles hung on the walls. They're the only source of light in the room. There are no windows in this room, so without the candles, it was pitch black. But how did the culprit kill Tenko in complete darkness? We do not speak about the scene. <laughs> The most tragic scene in human history. 
It's the white sheet we use for the seance. Did I already see this? I think I did. This place on top of the cage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Oh, wait. I was wrong. I didn't see that. The sheet is quite thick. It's like the window curtains that don't let any light in. There's also blood on the sheet, just about in the center. Oh! There's no hole in the fabric. I don't believe Tinkle was killed through this. She must have been stabbed from underneath the fabric. Huh. Okay, how do I look at my log again? Because there is a little dialogue in this. Okay. The cloth is pretty thick. It's similar to a window curtain, but it's completely opaque. And on the back, look, there's a blood stain on it, right around the middle of the sheet, but no hole in the fabric. Which means Tinka wasn't stabbed through this cloth. She was stabbed while underneath the cloth. All right, there we go. And then the magic circle. Wow, that sure got ruined. If the magic circle Keo drew on the floor, well, at least it was. It's been completely stomped over. I suppose it was unavoidable. Was this drawn with salt? It sure did. <laughs> so. Whenever I perform a seance, I always use salt. Huh? Are you feeling alright? You sound ridiculous. Listen, Kodakiyo's salty. D leave him be. Ridiculous? I performed many successful seances. Why? I've even had se spirits enter my butt. Yeah, he's salty. Oh, yeah. Shut up. I don't want to hear about your stupid delusions. <laughs> I love Maki. Maki really doesn't beat around the bush. It's kind of refreshing, actually. Demo. In any case, with all these footprints, I can't make out the original circle. Betsy. We'll find out in Kyo's lab. Should be written in the Cage Dog Village document. Yeah. Isn't that right, Keo? Oh, oh. He seems depressed. I suppose that makes sense. Alright. Let's examine. Oh, I guess I don't need to examine the cage, huh? Oh, wait. A hole? What? Excuse me? There's a small opening in the corner of the room. Doesn't look big enough for a person to get through, but still. A hole? Looks like there's space under here, too. Oh, hold on. I can see something below. It looks like something dropped down there. What? Something dropped down there? After we check everyone else, why don't we go under the floor and see for ourselves? Mm. So there is like a little room under the floorboards. Alright, let's do it. Alright, let's examine the body then. And there's a rock. I didn't know Kel was in this game. Damn, Kel murdered Tenko? This is the cage used in the seance. Oh yeah, that was what she put her head on for the seance, right? It looks to be around three feet high and five feet wide. It's a pretty large iron cage. Big enough for a person to fit inside. And there's blood on it. During the seance, Kukichi and I covered Tenko with the cage. Elio, his name was Hector. <laughs> I was saying Cal because Cal used Hector. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> we were supposed to remove it as well. But it was Himiko who rushed in and removed the cage first. Hey, look at this. A blood stain on the bottom of the cage. Probably Tenko's blood, yeah? Yeah, I imagine so. This batter must have been made when she was killed. I for can't believe you forgot the rock's name and tried to cover it up. Shame on you, shame on you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll be sure to remember Hector's name. Now and always. I'll never forget this shame. <laughs> this means Tenko was killed while she was inside the cage. Yeah. Mm. I think you're right. Tenko went under the cage before the seance. 
You better. <laughs> when the cage was lifted after the seance, she was already dead. That was one fast ass murder. Well, thank you for the hydrate, Goldie. Let's get some of that lemonade. Oh? Oh, whoa, what's this? Uh -huh. Oh, random voice mod. Okay, Goldie, uh, you have a choice now. Let me just shift around my settings here. All right, you have two choices here, Goldie. Uh, well, not two, you got multiple. Okay, do you want magic chords, cave, vibrato, evil, 2x1 or VR? Those are your choices for a voice mod. If she was stabbed right when the cage was lifted, that would explain the blood stain, right? Cave? Oh, cave, cave. So like, cave. Yee -yee. Do you want cave or do you want something else? Also, I'll, I'll rewrite them in chat. Magical. Uh, cave, let's go with cave. Okay, here we go. All right, we're in the cave now. We're still here investigating the death, but somehow we got into a cave. Whoa! Marco! Polo! Hello? Whoa! Nice echo. <laughs> I knew it, I love it. <laughs> well, what was that one thing that people say to have the, what is it, the echo repeat back to them? <laughs> hmm? Perhaps she wasn't killed during the seance, but the exact moment the cage was lifted, perhaps she got killed in a cave. Whoa! Yo, if Tinkle got killed in a cave, would that be fucked up or what? That is a possibility. Iron cage, yeah. Let's examine Hector. Why is this so funny with the cave mod? <laughs> it's such a good mod, isn't it? <laughs> There's a rock next to Tinkle's body. This must be Elio. Blinded! Hi! I'm in a cave right now! Save me! <laughs> How are you doing? Please, rest your forehead upon the stone marker I placed here. <laughs> I love your voice. <laughs> Is it cause of the cave effect? <laughs> Just got home from class. Oh, welcome home! You want dinner? A bath? Or my stream. <laughs> it's just a stone I brought from the courtyard. Are you sure it'll work? Certainly. It is merely needed as a marker for her forehead to rest upon. Yeah, I love the reverb. <laughs> Blind did redeem the random voice mod when the sun's over. Do it. <laughs> All right, Goldie, I got you. Ooh, we're close to ending to you. Three more seconds. Um. Like this, and it's over! Okay, time to disable the cave effect. Uh, okay, I've escaped the cave! Woo! Let's go! Alright. Here we go. Oh, what uh, voice would you like, Blinded? We got a couple choices here. We got Magic Chords, Vibrato, Evil, 2X1, or VR. Pick your own adventure, Blinded. <laughs> yeah, let me know which one you want. VR? Here. Here we go. Let me switch over to VR. Hello. Hello. Welcome. You are now in Sword Art Online. <laughs> We're trapped in the video game, yo. Get killed in a video game, you get killed in real life, which I guess is what happened to Tank Off. <laughs> Hello, video. <laughs> I 
Rose Gore! Elio Kibo Well! I'm Kibo! Oh my god, I'm Kibo! Hello everyone, it is I, Kibo, the ultimate robot. I can shoot strobes out of my eyes. Ooh. Can you say ah uh, for me? Try to make yourself small and fit inside the case. Also, this is a freebie for you guys, so be grateful. Yeah. <laughs> I am under the water. Please help. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Hector. Tico's <laughs> body. It is I, Kibo. I will find what happens to Tinko. <laughs> Tinko's dead body. She took her last breath, crouched over it like this. I fucking love this, me too. <laughs> Installing this place not was the best decision ever. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Jackie. <laughs> Welcome. Tinko's dead. Can you call us both of our girlfriends? How do you do know it? Hey, join my VR experience. Yeah, I got my voice mod on. We're an SAO. I wish I was not that so. According to the monochrome file, her only injury is the stab wound to her neck. This one was fatal. I'll slowly switch out the wave smile now. <laughs> Alright, here we go. <laughs> I can't believe the dreams of 10 year old me came too. <laughs> Did you want to go into SAO, Goldie? This must have caused instant death. I didn't hear a scream during the seance. Can't. <laughs> I didn't care what's going on, but. <laughs> yeah, we're. We've been having some fun with little voice mods that can change my voice. <laughs> you guys can hear me all right, right? <laughs> I have to switch between two different mics for voice mod. I did in the past. I wanted to be badass because the animation was pretty. <laughs> I, I see we have a lot in common, Goldie. I didn't want to be in Sword Art Online, but you guys know my story about how I wanted to fall into a coma so I could be in the dot .hack game. <laughs> Uh, wait. Understood. I will not say a word until the seance is over. Would Tinko really keep her mouth shut despite the pain? Oh. Her death might not have been instant, but she couldn't have gone far before she bled out. Uh. What do you mean? We clearly remember that one, yeah. <laughs> Y'all will make fun of me for that one as long as I live. You were concerned about that, right? Mm. With a wound this deep, the victim is too shocked to do anything except die. <laughs> You're speaking from experience? <laughs> of course. Quick deaths are my specialty. Well then, that makes sense. <laughs> the real question is, what was she killed with? I don't see a murder weapon around. Not true! We're not making fun of you! We're clowning on your child self! <laughs> Good on you guys, cause my child self deserves to be clowned on. If I could go back in time, I would do it, just so I could punch myself. Hell, I'll go into the future and punch myself too. Future me probably deserves a punch too. You're right. I don't see an obvious murder weapon. That could be a clue. Tinko's last moments. Okay, so we got the floorboard here. This is gonna be big. You gonna like to do homework? Well, good luck on your homework! Let me know if you need any help. <laughs> Elio, shut the fuck up. I cannot start kidding you, of all people. <laughs> Goldie out here about to kid me? <laughs> the floorboard is loose. That's the one right under Tenko. 
Why is this floorboard loose? I haven't missed the investigation. Yay! Yay! Welcome, Sir Yuki. Yes. Hello. <laughs> How have you been? It wasn't like this before. It must have come loose during the seance. Nonde. Oh, why would it come loose during the seance? Demo. A floorboard this thick and heavy wouldn't have come loose easily. Then someone must have loosened it on purpose. I too would go back to the past just to punch my younger self in the face for all the dumb shit it did. <laughs> Yeah, if you don't want to go back in time and punch your past self, then you're just lying. We all did cringe moments. We all have cringe compilations. Elio, help me with homework. Suppose the solution of coal NO3 has an extinction coefficient of 5.1 L505 NM, so that a 0.0300 M coal. NO32 solution will give an absorbance of 0 0.5? Eh? I don't think I can help you with that one, Chief! <laughs> Ask me a different question! <laughs> Ask me an English question! <laughs> Goldie might fuck around and kin a motherfucker. Which one of you is it gonna be? Elio, are you kidding characters or friends? Goldie, you come closer! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Elio, what don't you understand? Everything? <laughs> Everything? I couldn't understand a single thing on that. <laughs> that is that science? I'm guessing that's science, right? I never was good with science. I thought science was cool, but like, my grades for it was terrible. Yeah, it's chemistry. Oh, makes sense. Chemistry. It seems pretty dark down there. What should we use for light? Let's bring a candle. With Kipo's light from up here. That should be fine. Never been good at chemistry. It's probably the weakest science subject for me. Yeah, oh, I'm no good at science. I was good with like... Okay, so I don't know if this is what other schools do or if I just am a hick. Uh, but we had like a, a farming science class where we farmed. Is that like a thing that happens to regular people too? Cause I was good at that one. There's like this one kid in our class that was really stuck up though. Agriculture, yes, agriculture. We had an agriculture class. Blinded, I did not pick a class that does have chemistry just for you to share in chat, I will punch you. <laughs> Never had a class focused on that. Oh. Yeah, it was pretty fun. We had like a, we had a whole farm that we took care of. We had like, okay, so the place that I live is very focused on uh, grapes. We're, we're like the grape city and we have grape conventions. <laughs> I, I'm literally not even kidding when I say that we have grape conventions. It's like the yearly feature, everyone comes together and we like make monuments out of grapes. Like, the kids will, like, make pictures out of different types of grapes and they'll color them and stuff. Damn, Elio, you just hick. <laughs> I mean, you're right, but... <laughs> be a little nicer. I'll go with a candle. Move that floorboard so we can go down. I generally have no idea how I passed biology in community college outside of the fact that I had a high school friend in that class. Especially when it was seven, and I feel like I dissociated through it. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think I've taken any science classes yet. Unless, unless psychology counts, but I don't think psychology counts. I was pretty good at psychology. I had an A in that class. I like psychology. Mm. Okay, got it. All right, let's see what's down here. I pulled off some of the floorboards near the hole and took the candle from Maki. Then we carefully made our way through the hole and under the floor. Oh, hello, kippies! Yes, it's V3 time. Welcome, welcome. I, I did care if you were here when we last saw who got killed. But yeah, Tenko died. <laughs> and, oh, oh wow. This is a lot more spacious than I thought. It can move pretty easily on all fours. There are like two blood pools here. What's up with that? 
My school, they intended to get animals, but they realized we're all dumb as bricks, so just built the enclosure and hoped we would forget, which we did. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, I wish I went to a school with like a, an animal raising class or something like that. That'd be cute. Raising some bunnies. Let's look around for clues. On the phone. It looked pretty stupid if we found no clues after crawling around in this dusty place. <laughs> yeah. Well, we at least know there are two different blood pools here, which is weird. Aha, uh -huh, so you can examine the. Oh, cross people. Oh, they're cut. Okay, so I guess that's. Hmm. Blood dripping from the gaps in the floorboards. They were under the floorboards! Flesh, fresh blood. This is definitely Tenko's. Are you spending time with Maki? Kinda, yeah! It's been a very Maki-centric chapter, I love it. She's also been like attacking us this entire stream. She told us that we probably have never been touched by a woman except for our mother earlier, <laughs> which was something. <laughs> There's a blood stain on the ground, underneath the loose floorboard. That's pretty far from where Tenko's blood is dripping down. And they're the same floorboard, just at different ends. Why is there blood here? No. Hey, the back of this floorboard has blood on it too. Oh, you're right. There's a little bit of blood on the underside of this floorboard. No, no, no. Did Tenko's blood splatter here when she got killed? Hmm, I wonder if Angie maybe got killed here? And then her body got dragged into her lab? So I wonder. I can't really be sure yet. Mm. But these blood stains here are completely dry. Yeah, this has to be Angie's blood, right? Must be some reason these particular stains are dry. Interesting. So Angie got killed here too. Ah, uh, look! Part of the cross piece that supports the floorboard is cut off. So done. It's near the loose floorboard, and the portion missing is about the same width of two. With, with. I can never say that word right. And from what I can see of it, so done. It wasn't broken off naturally. This was cut by someone. It's mine, guys, my bad. I fucking tripped again. <laughs> you know how it is looking at anime titties on Twitter every way. Goldie! <laughs> you are unhinged today. <laughs> okay, so Oma blood here, I see. <laughs> this is Oma's blood. Not Angie's. <laughs> there should be saws in the warehouse, so they could have just used that. The question is, why? Hmm. Another cross piece is supporting the floorboard, so it might not fall in this if this portion is missing. So, what purpose did this serve? I'm in such a goofy mood, what can I say? <laughs> I love when you're in these moods, Goldie. It's fun. It's always fun. <laughs> You're chaotic energy, and I appreciate you being here. <laughs> The floorboard underneath Tenko's body is loose, and the cross piece supporting it's been cut. If the culprit did all of this, then why? <laughs> hey, there's some more stuff over here. Oh, okay, so this person was able to see. Some of the wood has corroded and is broken off, so you can see into the next room. Yeah. This is the wall of the empty room, right? It looks like there's wood along the wall. Me holding Elio hostage? <laughs> oh, he let me be a dumbass in chat! <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's both be dumbasses. <laughs> this part is rotted away. It looks like a natural rot. This hole wasn't, been, wasn't made intentionally. But I can get into the next room through here. That's fun. If I remember correctly, the room next door is also empty, right? Then the culprit could have gone from room to room by moving under here. 
instead of using the hallway. Once again, it's Korekiyo. Yep. True, but it would have been difficult moving around under the floor. He vented! We did all right because we had a light. Without that, it'd be pitch black. Well, look in there. There's a light down here. Funny thing you should mention that. This might make it impossible to move around in here. Mm. Then they could have used a light, like we're doing right now. Mm. True. Oh, I guess they brought the candle with them down here. I thought that was just left there. Use the light to move around under the floor? Is that possible? Oh no, people are gonna start thinking it's Kibo now. Ugh. It's Korekio. Hokichi crawling under the floorboards like a snake for shits and giggles and then tinkles on them <laughs> Yeah, you, you just fell down there because you were looking at anime titties and then you killed someone. What? I mean, can you be blamed? The, the titties put you into a, a, a weird sense of mind. <laughs> Alright. He somehow managed to vent mid-song. <laughs> what did I get back to? <laughs> you got back to Oh, what's this? A sickle? Jesus Christ. This man trying to be the reaper. There's a sickle here. There's blood all over it. The blood on the sickle is fresh. This is it. This is the murder weapon. A weapon! What is this? This came from my research lab. Uh-oh. Uh, everyone's gonna suspect Maki and Kibo, as expected. <coughs> it did? On the a sickle can be used to assassinate a target. It can be thrown without losing any lethality, and you can hide it under your clothes, too. Mom. If she was attacked with this, she wouldn't stand a chance. This blade is about six inches. So then. And since Tenko was in the cage, she wouldn't have been able to defend herself. Ooh. But even if this is our murder weapon, how did the culprit attack Tenko in the cage? Well, he was under the floorboards! The blade could fit through the gaps, the gaps in the cage, but could it reach her neck? So then. The cage is three feet high. If you were to stab into it with a six-inch blade, well, it would depend on Tenko's posture, but I don't think it's impossible. Then, her posture is the question. No. Hey, if the weapon is down here, the culprit must have thrown it away, right? So then, uh... Perhaps after killing Tenko, the culprit threw the sickle under the floor in the dark. Or they could have been under the floor the entire time. Either of those is possible. I'm guessing they were under the floor? I I'm honestly not sure, since... I'm suspecting it's Korekio, but maybe maybe I should walk away from the Korekio is the culprit bit here and try to think of the possibility of there maybe being an accomplice or something. Like maybe Korekio sets things up, but someone wound up killing her. Maybe I should go with that, run with that kind of angle here. Thank you for the hydrate, Goldie! Hmm. Well, whoever did this is trying to make Maki look suspicious because they used one of her weapons. They crawled around like a snake and swallowed her whole, yo, war? There's war in this game? Damn. Wanna walk away from Kodakiyo? I mean, I don't blame you, but that's random. <laughs> yeah, Kodakiyo is too stinky. I don't wanna be near him. I think we finished investigating here. That would be bored and it would leave a wound on her neck like it. That, or would it? No, no, bore? Bore? <laughs> somehow. Somehow, chat finds a way to make the stream be about bore. Some way. Somehow. <laughs> it's our fate. Maki, you wanna head back up? A single word and I've summoned Shiryuki. <laughs> Shiryuki's been here. She was just waiting. She was just waiting for the chance to say more. You enabled her, Goldie. Congratulations. <sighs> Glad you asked. I was starting to get fed up with all this dust. 
Do you mean chat finds a way? That was all on Goldie. Yes, and Goldie is a chat member. So yes, chat does find a way. <laughs> is it worse since Goldie is a mod? <laughs> After Maki and I crawled out from under the floor, we put the floorboards back. And returned to our investigation. Yes, floor. <laughs> In my defense, it was not premeditated. I mean, it's still a slaughter, either way. <laughs> We've only been investigating this room. You sure that's Rise? What do you mean? Goldie brought fire here? Yo, Goldie is Prometheus now? Oh, you misspelled for it, okay. I was about to be like, damn, Goldie's Prometheus? Angie and Tenko have different killers, then the black end we need to vote for is... The culprit for the first murder. The culprit who killed Angie. I don't even know if that's any better. <laughs> that means you just couldn't help yourself? <laughs> See, it's just in Goldie's like, DNA to make four jokes, okay? Don't blame them. <laughs> that's what Monokuma said. I'm gonna stab autocorrect and corrected fortune to Fortnite yesterday. <laughs> oh, would you like your Fortnite? <laughs> so instead of investigating Tenko's death, shouldn't we be investigating Angie's? I swear, falls through the floorboards. No! <laughs> mm. Yes, of course. Mm. I was actually watching videos on like a Prometheus and Helios and Apollo and Deanna and all that today. It was fun. <laughs> I really like watching mytho mythology videos. Would you like me to read your Fortnite? <laughs> yes, I would like I like I would like my Fortnite to be told. <laughs> this is bigger than the killing game. For the sake of the two who died. I need to reveal the truth of both their deaths. Mm. Well, I understand why you feel that way. But if you plan on investigating the other crime scene again, we should probably hurry. Okay, so we're going to the other crime scene? If you invest in my company, you're going to make a fortnight. <laughs> when I came to the hallway, yeah, the company is Epic Games. <laughs> I've seen more surprising than I could ever imagine unfolded it. What? What? Oma! <laughs> you bitch! You motherfucker! <laughs> 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 Looking at the anime titties, my god, Oma! <laughs> Did I surprise you? Were you gonna scream and cry in terror? Yes, I was. I was going to cry, Oma. You bitch! What are you doing? Thank god. <laughs> oh no, anyway. <laughs> I love that fake out. What's up, Ayo? Yeah, Jesus Christ, no, no one here is respecting that two people have died. All my here staging a third death just for fun and giggles. Oh my, what the fuck? Oh, sorry, I'm just a little lightheaded from the blood loss. Yeah, this is real blood. Okay, so what are you doing? I'm not curious about something, so. I decided to search the empty room next door. Then, suddenly... Elio got attached to this gremlin. Look at him, y'all could be me. <laughs> yeah, that's cause you are him, Goldie. Uh -huh. I... I stepped through the floorboard. <laughs> you stepped through a floorboard? Jeez, that got me good. Cause of this, I, I tripped and fell pretty hard. Yeah, he really was looking at the anime titties on Twitter. 
If you're going to lose consciousness, do it after you tell us everything. Oh, uh, oh sorry, my bad. I guess there is no cross piece supporting this floorboard, so I kinda stepped through. <laughs> what bad luck! Cross piece was gone? Does that mean. To be fair, he is kind of bleeding out for real, and if anything, Shuichi is a jerk for ignoring that. <laughs> I was about to say that, Shiryuki, when I read that, but I had self control to not say that. Were you gonna cry? Piss your pants? Maybe shit and come? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Elio, give me back the fucking hat. I'm sorry. I keep stealing your hat. <laughs> oh, it's time for the class trial then. He can bleed out. <laughs> Confidence dreams. That's what the killing game is all about. Killing game fans, hold your head high and watch with your own two eyes. <laughs> Baseball, soccer, mobile games, they're all nothing compared to the killing games. <laughs> the killing game just can't be beat. Oh, hi there. Sonic, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. How's your day going? Elio, what do you think happened for the murders? Okay, so I think... I think Kurikio, uh killed them. I think... I, I'm not sure how he lured Angie over, but I'm assuming he lured Angie over and that that dried blood was from Angie getting killed. Uh, and then, obviously, the whole thing with uh, Tenko. Maybe he's got, like, uh, someone that was helping him, but I'm not sure who would help him in that situation. Like, maybe he had something set up to kill her without, like, having to, like, leave the room. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I guess he's not wrong, just you theorize there's only one killer for both? I'm not sure. I, I think they were both killed in the same fashion. So maybe... Uh, there's also the possibility that maybe Tenko might have helped with killing Angie, but I don't think that's true. I don't think Tenko would have done that. Because I know that the last the last times we've had like uh, double deaths, one of the people that died was one of the people that helped with like murdering the other person. Uh, but I don't think that's what happened here. If anything, I think maybe there was someone that helped that didn't die. But yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. Behold, students, the entrance to the trial grounds. Interesting. Chat, not a single fucking word about a single fucking thing. <laughs> Yeah, spam those sipping emotes. I love the sip emoji. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. <laughs> yeah, Len Pinky did a great job on those emotes. I guess time's up. Oh man, it's because of you guys. I didn't have enough time to check something. What were you trying to check? I wanted to re-research the seance again, so I brought this document with me. I'm too busy. Oops, excuse me, sorry. I'm too busy sipping to spoil. <laughs> Thank you. But unfortunately, Gee. you can't find anything new that could be used as a clue. Kyo perfectly reenacted the seance is what was written in the document. He drew his magic circle the same exact way as in the picture. Not only that, he used the same exact tools too. Nothing suspicious about the whole thing. Well, I wanted to check the finer details, but uh, I'll tell you about it later. Oma is a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> at, at the class trial. So, see you there. 
the entire time I was waiting for this. <laughs> oh, what clip is that of? <laughs> is that the Oma fake out? Or what, what is that? Kakichi left, the blood loss clearly affecting his footing a bit. Bloody Kokichi, oh my god, he's gonna be evidence. The Oma fake out, yeah, that, that really shocked me. I was about to start crying, because I actually really do like Oma. <laughs> I really do like him. Uh, let's go too. He makes things fun. So done. Yeah, okay. Is Maki nervous? I see, so even she gets nervous sometimes. What are you staring at? Do you want to die? <laughs> this could be used if Elio ever says he doesn't care about Kokichi. I, I would never say that I don't care about Kokichi. I, I quite care about him a lot. Okay, so I guess we gotta run over to... Downstairs. Ba -dum -bum -dum -bum 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 -bum. Is anyone chilling out around here? I I I'm surprised we didn't go and investigate Maki's room before time was up, because that that would be the next thing I thought we would be checking out. Would be to see what all weapons got taken away from there. Problem is, Elio associates me with Kokichi, therefore he will never say it. A shame. I will never get the chance to use this against him. <laughs> Listen, I care about you, Goldie. Oh, there's her room. Let me just look across the distance for a second and then run away. Oh wait, no, I gotta go downstairs. I guess I gotta pass by her room. What happens if I try to go into her room, actually? Damn it. Chikusho, no flavor text. I would you on the purple grandma, my friend. I will stab you in the back and laugh about it. <laughs> Listen. Listen. You are friend. You, you wouldn't... You wouldn't really stab me, would you? You are friend. You are friend shape. Goldie more like Goldilocks? Oh, Goldie will stab you for saying that. <laughs> Alright, let's see. It's over here. Goldie would just stab anyone for any reason, honestly, though. It's a friendly stab, Elliot. Oh, it's just like a, a good morning stab? I see, I see. <laughs> okay, well, don't stab me too hard, then. It would appear we have all gathered. It seems there are less and less of us. Less friends means that it is much harder to solve mystery. I have my scissors. I will proceed to strangle with toilet paper. Hey, no, no, no. You, you gotta save the toilet paper. We're having shortages of that. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure you've gotten a little smarter by now, Ganta. Hello, here's your morning stab. <laughs> Let me ask you a question this morning. Mm. Yeah, going to do his best to help. Mm. I want you to graduate from super idiot level to at least Kaito idiot level. Oh my god. Huh? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Daijoubu. Uh, more importantly, are you okay, Kaito? Oh. Yeah, I'm feeling better now, but wow, Monkey Roll sure does pack a punch. Shiranai. It's your fault. <laughs> you don't need to worry about our dwindling numbers. Only dipshits have died so far. Shut up! <gasps> Me, you! <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm like making sounds because I'm like punching my hands. No! You! 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 Me, you! Shut up! Shut up! We lost Kaide! We lost Kirumi! <laughs> Yeah, did she insult Kaede? What the hell? Mew, I'm gonna beat you up. Mom said knock you out. How dare you? How dare you talk shit about my waifu, Kirumi? How dare you? Mew is the only character I would kill and not be sad. Yeah, the, the only dipshits. 
<laughs> only dipshits have not died so far, which is Miyu. Miyu is the only dipshit. She's on my list. She is on my list. I'm gonna murder her. Ugh. Yeah, she insulted everyone who died. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know it's a tall order, but try to use your brains this time so I don't have to use mine. These golden brain cells of mine are a gift to the entire world. It's as though every time you open your mouth, you become less likable. <laughs> yeah, th this is the one time Kodakiyo is actually speaking. <laughs> Elio baby rage. Yeah, for once I agree, Kodakiyo. Not like you have any Miyu, but okay, right? <laughs> I mean, she is pretty smart, but she's not smart in other ways. She's book smart, but she's not life smart. I wouldn't say she's life smart. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Oh, Chrysosaurus, how are you? It's been a while. How you been? Thank you for gifting us all the snowfall, Shiryuki. Also, Shiryuki can now enjoy the emotes. Let's give her credit. She is an inventor. Yes, she, she is pretty smart to be able to invent. But sometimes you can be smart and be still a total ba a, a total dumbass because that's me. I have incredibly good, incredibly good grades, but I think you guys know how I am. <laughs> Atua, please, please lend us your power. This guy. It may be difficult for us to rely on Atua. Considering what happened to Angie, whom Atua loved most of all. I got the email you were streaming while I was working. I'm shocked you're still working. Oh, like that I'm still streaming? I'm not sick yet. I thought I thought I might be getting sick, but I haven't felt sick at all, which is a good thing. So I'm glad. Oh. She should have never lied on Atua in the first place. Okay, Oba. Sometimes you can be smart and still be a total dumbass. Did you call me? I was calling myself out twice. <laughs> but seriously, it's kind of funny seeing a robot believe in God. Especially a Tua. I mean, have you not seen Metaton? So what? Robots can believe in God. Yeah, one of, one of the biggest religious figures is Metatron. And he's a robot. Actually, before I even met Angie, I had a similar experience. Hearing voices, I mean. I'm very smart, but always a dumbass. I feel that. <laughs> Elio dumb. <laughs> hey, they say that chat is like the streamer. So you guys are all incredibly cute dumbasses. <laughs> Oh, Sims, yes, that's another thing that you guys are. You might call it an inner voice. It tells me what to do whenever I'm in trouble. Joto. How long are you going to say that for? A two one ghosts don't matter right now. Don't get sick or else. I'm gonna try my best. I'm living in a household full of people that are sick right now, though, so it's hard. Talk you. Yeah, the trial this time is gonna be tough. We got caught in Monokuma's trap. Eh? His trap? We talk about boar, obviously we're dumbasses. <laughs> we probably made the fourth floor so scary on purpose to prevent me from investigating. I only simp for myself. <laughs> I don't simp for myself. People that simp me, what's wrong with you? <laughs> no, he didn't. Huh? Yeah, there's no way. No. Shuichi. Say something. Something. Eh? What should I say? Something. <laughs> okay, look. Elio mentioned it first, actually. <laughs> no, I didn't! You were the first one that talked about Vor, Goldie. I I just acknowledged that you were talking about Vor, and then everyone was like, oh, Vor. Okay. 
Okay, Kodakio, you got anything to say? Hmm. Why did the seance fail? I never did figure out why. <laughs> I usually only serve for myself, but then I saw the cheerleader die. <laughs> yeah, that's this week's uh, that's this week's schedule image too. <laughs> I'm glad you guys liked it. I was nervous about showing it. <laughs> Angie and Tenko so much since the moment we met. Shut up. Nothing's gonna be solved by crying about it. <laughs> God. I'm so proud of your reaction, Suichi. Say something, something without missing a bit. <laughs> Sides, this wasn't a lie, was it? I mentioned a snake. No one said the word until you did, okay? You said swallowing whole by a snake, Goldie. <laughs> I hate this kid punch of Kaito Pochu. <laughs> yep, you guys have me figured out already. There's no point in keeping up the act. Kakichi never changes, no matter what situation he's in. If walks like war and quacks like war and quacks like war, it's war. You mentioned war first. Exactly. Thank you. I'm glad. Goldie, I'm not gonna say what you just said in chat. <laughs> I refuse. Goldie, though. Goldie. Goldie. I'm sorry, but we we need to take a moment. I need to take a moment here. Gachung, gachung, gachung. The court finds Goldie other guilty of being horny. To horny jail, you go. Dancy lobsters, take them away. <laughs> Please just ignore me, I can't do this. Why did you say it in the first place? <laughs> That's my cue to leave. <laughs> this trial is gonna be rough since I couldn't do any investigating. using your brain so I don't have to. My golden brain cells are gifted to, to the entire world. <laughs> I'm horny for Elio. Good tongue. Go to horny jail. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you for the 500 bits, Chrysosaurus. Horny jail for all chats. Yes, it is as Chrysosaurus says. It is by Chrysosaurus degree that you are all going to horny jail. Oh, we got a random voice mod for a minute. Okay, Chrysosaurus, here you go. Uh, here are some choices for you. Uh, you can choose magic chords, cave, vibrato, evil, two times one, or VR. Those are your choices. Can't believe I'm bullied as a mod. <laughs> Choosing is not random. No, it isn't. It's just that it it, it randomizes each day. Dealer's choice? <laughs> yes, it is dealer's choice. Evil? Isn't that your normal voice? Hey! I'm not evil! I am not evil, okay? Cave equals horny jail? <laughs> do evil? Okay, let's do evil. All right, give me a moment. Hello. Hello. <laughs> evil Elio, which is not something that usually happens. I'm not evil normally. Yes, I'm evil. Hello. 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 <laughs> oh, you have a voice line to show me? Oh, I'd like to hear it. I'd like to know about it. I mean, I'm dumb. This is evil Elio, yes. Elio with. Dark hair and uh, what else would be dark? Elio, evil Elio. I don't know. He's, he's an evil, this is all my sexual. <laughs> so nothing has changed. Alright, I, I got you, Chrysosaurus. Oh, whoops, wrong thing. That is not the thing. <laughs> Alright. 
Ship of Doom! Find a way out! I've attached bracelets onto you. Escape within nine hours. Welcome to the nunnery game. I am Zero, the captain of this ship. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, it's nothing. We can't talk about it once the trial starts. 100, 1,000 channel points well spent. Yes, I applaud you. I know, I want to activate the voice mod. Hey, I did it! The two iron ghosts don't matter right now. The culprit is... <laughs> Among Us. <laughs> Yo, we're so bored, guys! Oh. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Evil Ellie will be like, I hate it. No, it's literally impossible to hate me. It's even if you're evil. Yeah, impossible. Impossible. No one can dislike me. It's if you think that you don't like me, it's your lying. You might be having too much fun. <laughs> this is your... Among us. Maybe a bit lower pitched. Hey! I mean, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Man, I like laughing with the evil voice on. <laughs> Alright, I'm turning off the voice spot. <laughs> evil Ellie will be like, People never confuse my white hairs, pink. <laughs> Alright, let me turn off the voice log out. Alright, I'm back! Got Redeemer Soul Flight light and right? And the voices change daily. So we'll get new different voices to try out each day. It's amazing. I love it. As usual, we walk towards the elevator in silence. Well, your voice sounds super evil now. Hey! <laughs> Wait, how do you get those? Uh, there is a thing that you can install called Voice Mod. Uh, I'm using the free version, so it's like daily you get different voices, but if you pay money with Voice Mod Pro, you can get access to all of the voices, but I mean, I don't really want to waste my money and stuff like that. <laughs> Elio, come on, turn off the voice mod, hey! Oi, 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 oi! <laughs> Should I hit him with another one? If you want a Sonic. Evil Elio. <laughs> I am pure and kind and good, excuse you. We descended. Perhaps because there were fewer of us, the elevator seemed to move faster. Yo, Oma's looking at my butt! Do you see that? Look at where his face is positioned. He's looking at Shuichi's butt. And so we fell faster and faster downwards into the black. Evelio. <laughs> we only tested like three, four, we get like seven? Uh, we have... Let me count. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have six each day. 
Can you actually blame him? Can you even blame him? I like evil. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you guys like the voice mod. I'm glad I installed it. <laughs> he has different priorities. <laughs> the doors parted slowly. The light that shines on us from the other side. The bright light of our future. She just got an ass. Come on, you know it. Yeah, he do. He do, doll. I saw like one CG with his butt and I was like, okay, okay, Shuichi's packing. Or is it? Alia. Boy, they look really depressed. That's because there's even less participants now. Don't say they look depressed. You make one of them side. As much as I'd love to keep hearing this adorable back and forth. Let's hurry up and get this started. <laughs> At last, the class trial will begin. I hope you enjoy it to your heart's fullest. <laughs> The class trial, the third class trial was about to begin. Do you want, oh. Angie Yonaga, the ultimate artist. Do you wanna keep going with the trial? Huh, I'm not sure. Should I? What do you guys think? Should I keep going? She created the ultimate academy student, what, what, I can't read. She created the ultimate academy student council to try to prevent the killing game. I don't think Kyo vented. Yeah, I think Kyo vented as well. Then, Tenko Chabashira, the ultimate Aikido master. She hated men, but I knew that she hated this terrible killing game even more. Yeah, honestly, Tenko wasn't that bad. I, I was really warming up to her. The two who were killed were both trying to stop the killing. Are you asking if we want you to stream longer? <laughs> do you feel like you want to keep going? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I want to do a workout. I want to do some workouts. The two who were killed were both trying to stop the killing. Have I been too subtle about my fear when you ended stream? <laughs> oh no, look at my wife. Look at her. Covered in blood. And who was the one who killed them? This is a good stopping point, since finding a point in the trial to stop nicely is kind of hard. Please do what you want. Yeah, I, I think I might end here then. Was it one person? Two different people? Wow, everyone on the screen is alive. Makes me think that one of the people on this screen is gonna die this chapter, so... You, Kodekiyo, you should be the killer. So we can get your ass out of here. You need to pin that down in this class trial. When will Kokichi's portrait be read? Come on, guys, get to it. No, I won't let Kokichi die. And I will fight for it. I will fight with truth and lies in this class trial. Yeah, that's surprising. All of them are alive. Yeah, usually you'd have at least one of them read it out by now. So there's gotta be one person read it out this chapter, and that's hopefully Kodakio. Because I think it was Kodakio. That's Robo Fulwick. <laughs> Let the gremlin die, Elio. He deserves it. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, that is gonna be the end for the stream for today. Thank you everyone for coming for Dang It Wample. And we'll be playing some Portal and Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne tomorrow. Uh, that will be at 5 p.m. PST. So about, look at your clock right now. Three hours from now is when next stream will be. Tomorrow, of course. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. Dang It Grandpa, my favorite game, me too. <laughs> Thanks for the streams. No problem. Thank you for coming. I love Elio and I love you. When did your grandpa do to your favorite game? <laughs> Thanks for streaming. Thank you for streaming, Elio. No problem. Thank you guys for coming. 
I hope to see you guys tomorrow, but if not, I hope you guys have a good day and have a good day today as well. Be sure to eat, drink, and take your medication. Try not to get sick. Take care of yourself, all right? Y'all better not have any problems happen or I'm going to solve them for you. Checkmark, gamers! Good night! Bye!